Now, as the year of the general election chugs into February, I think it's fair to say the long, long campaign to that day, whenever it is, is well and truly underway. It certainly is. Today, the Shadow Chancellor and Leeds Labour MP Rachel Reeves promised to unleash the economic firepower of Yorkshire while the Prime Minister was in North Yorkshire to promote the government's Towns Fund. Well, joining us uh, in the studio for a change tonight, and get used to this because it could become very, very common as the year goes on, is our political correspondent, Sharon Preet Karen. Sharon Preet, what's the Shadow Chancellor's plan for jobs in our region? Well, Ian, once upon a time, Rachel Reeves actually used to work in Leeds in financial services. So it comes as no surprise that that's a sector she wants to bolster. And Labour reckons that that could bring £1.3 billion a year to Yorkshire and Humber alone. Well, so that's Labour's plan for the future. But I wanted to talk to Rachel Reeves about jobs that are at risk in a different part of our region right now at the Scunthorpe Steelworks. All week we've been hearing from Labour MPs in Westminster, standing behind workers in the steelworks in Port Talbot, where the blast furnace is set to be closed in, and replaced by an electric arc furnace. The same thing could happen at Scunthorpe, risking 3,000 jobs. I asked her if Labour would save those jobs. If we were in government today, uh, we would be working with British Steel to ensure that those jobs stay in uh, Scunthorpe. And I would urge the government, they are still in power today, but if we had an election, that could change. Uh, then uh, they must do everything they can to preserve those jobs. And that's what Labour would do through the National Wealth Fund to invest alongside business. You promised that wealth fund. Today, the Labour Party has also pledged £100 million a year for youth services and the battle against knife crime. But also today, the Institute for Fiscal Studies has released a report which predicts that the country may be in a very difficult situation if Labour does win a general election. Are you concerned about fulfilling these promises? Well, I think what the Institute of Fiscal Studies are highlighting today is that after 14 years of Conservative government, uh, debt is higher, growth is on its knees and uh, we are still experiencing a terrible cost of living crisis. I wish that the inheritance that uh, an incoming Labour government might have would be better than the one that the Conservatives are um, uh, looking to leave. They are now uh, pursuing a scorched earth policy. Mm, scorched earth, it does look as if she's starting to throw mud at the opposition, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, Lauren. What more would you expect in the run-up to a general election, even if that general election could be 10 months away? Well, on the point about Scunthorpe, we did ask the government for a response. In the last few minutes, they've told us they have a commitment to British Steel and have offered a support package to safeguard those jobs. But Rishi Sunak was also in Scarborough today talking about the Towns Fund. He was met by protesters demanding a better water quality and an upgrade to the Market Square. We're going to see a lot of this now. Big names from both political parties uh, cropping up around the country to give their pitch to voters. Today, as you saw in Johnny's report, they were both publicising their plans for knife crime, and that's going to be happening time and time again in the months to come. And we'll get to give them a grilling. Mm, hope you've got some strong coffee to keep you going. <laughs>